Hey, it's Ivan here from Parse Talent, and this one video I would like to play with operator a little bit. Uh, we will test the capabilities of new operator from OpenAI. I have an idea that I want to automate, which is comments to LinkedIn posts. So something to create activity on the LinkedIn page and to, again, build um, uh, the uh, impressions and cold following. Usually I do it myself, uh, but right now I want to see if we can get um, operator logged in as me inside of LinkedIn if we can get operator to use custom GPT, so AI using AI to create replies, and if we can automate all of that, and overall, how viable it is. Is this something that we can use right now, or is this just a, a nice shiny toy that everyone wants to play with, right? So let's dive right into that. Um, I will jump into operator straight ahead and to uh, instruct it that, hey, I want, um, I want you to help me to comment on um, LinkedIn in posts from my feed um, should be not sponsored. Um, to generate generate the reply, you will copy the link to the post and then use my linked in a uh, custom GPT from um, chat dot open AI AI dot uh, dot com um, and that's basically it uh, based on the post let's see that Let's see where it starts. Let's see what it will want to do. Uh, I played with it a little bit, so I didn't went like too deep. Um, so I want to see again what it can do, what it cannot do, and what are the limitations. So first limitations that I see is getting it locked in everywhere. Um, so, okay, here we go. I need it logged in to LinkedIn account to access the feed. Okay, logged in on browser. Okay. Uh, I already have, again, some other account. I won't be using that. Uh, I will, yeah, click that button. Oh, here we go. Okay, I already, again, play, uh, tested that. So I will go ahead and type my uh, password in here. Uh, click login. Okay. So uh, right now I d didn't have the uh, two-factor authentication. Previous time I had two-factor authentication and that kind of slowed down the process. Here is the thing, here is the crazy thing that makes all of this viable. My main concern was that I will need to log in every freaking time. You won't have to. It logs as you for the first time and then you're good to go because it already has all of the, all of the apps. Here is the scary part. It keeps this these pages logged in on the virtual machine. So even when you are not using operator, operator is still logged into your account. So that can create several again uh, privacy and security concerns. But for our purposes, for fans and giggles, it's fine. Uh, so let's move forward. Um, so finish up, and I will tell um, I logged into the LinkedIn and uh, return control to the operator. I really love that it comments on everything that it does. So copy and link and post uh, link for the comment. So it opened the post, it, let's see what it does. No, 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 no. It needs to click the three dots. Okay, you see it's trying, right? It's playing, it it's tries different things. Let's pause it and let's instruct it. Um, to copy, copy the link to the post, click three dots uh, in top right corner of the post. Let's see if it again changes anything for it, if it helps, if we can instruct it. Uh, I feel like it's again um, your, uh, your friends, uh, relatives that you instruct on how to use something or your own relatives where you tell them what needs to be done, right? <coughs> Did you see it just misclicked and it restored? You see it done it again. It misclicked, it clicked on the X instead of three dots, but it restored the post and understood that it's done a mistake. Okay, here we go. It's navigated to the three dots. Here we go. 
now go ahead and copy it. Okay, copy the link. Now it needs to open custom GPT. It understands that. It navigates to the custom GPT. Okay, chat.openai.com. Okay, um, it seems like it logged in as me. Yeah, it is. Uh, so in here, again, I, I played with it pr before. It did log in as me before the same way, right? Um, okay, here we go. Generate a comment for this post and posted the link. Here we go. So nice. It, it can follow that instruction. Uh, should I go ahead and submit? Yes. So as I understand, as a, as a precaution right now, before each action where it submits something, like submits the form, pays, subscribes, whatever it does, it asks you if you allow that. I'm wondering if there is a way to overcome it. <coughs> if I can tell it that, hey, you don't need my permission to do that. Just go ahead and do it, right? Um, okay. It starts generating the post, but it rushed back to the LinkedIn before copying the post, as I noticed. Okay, now it click in the comment. Okay, add in comment. Okay, yeah, it actually copied it, right? The comment is ready to be posted. LinkedIn posted, yes, and um, yes, and go to the next. Uh, no, let's just say yes. I don't want to overcomplicate it. I don't want to throw it off, off, uh, of the rails in here. That's amazing so far. So, so far, ChatGPT, if, if you were like truly understand it, so far ChatGPT can log in as you, log in in, in ChatGPT in, in itself and generate content based on your prompts. So imagine something like that connected to a Twitter account that is empty and it will just dump enormous amount of content in there. Like every, every second of your day, there is AI going ahead and uh, and pasting stuff. Oh, actually, you know what I realized? Let it pause. You know what I realized? It replied to the to the post without actually using without actually using ChatGPT. So um, what it did, it brought its own its own comment instead of using that one. Let's instruct it on that. Um, make sure to copy the uh, the post from uh, custom, no, yeah, let's uh, to copy the reply from custom GPT. So it's more tailored to my voice and tone. And uh, the other thing I will go and do, I will take control and I will instruct the custom GPT uh, properly. So I will, um, before doing that, let me remove that. Um, whenever you, um, give the result, 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 do not, um, no, um, result, optimize it for easy copy and paste. Uh, just to ensure that it will, oh, here we go. Okay, now let's move that and let's finish and let's return. Okay. Um, let's see if it will continue. Okay, it will, sounds good. Okay, it created that. But again, it did not copy the, the output from the custom GPT. So I wanted to use custom GPT output. Maybe it's even better. Oh, actually, it's, ah, it's wrong. Stop, stop. Um, it posted, as you can, as you saw, it posted the wrong name to this post, right? Um, we want to instruct it. So finish, exit to chat. Okay, um, let's tell it. Uh, hey, uh, you... You are posting a wrong comment. Your comment 
refers to Rob, Rob's post, while this is Austin's, Austin's post. Um, copy the link to Austin's post, paste it to um, custom GPT, copy custom GPT reply and paste it to uh, LinkedIn comments. <coughs> Let's see if these instructions will help us to tune in. And sorry all of the folks that receive AI comments right now. You already receive them manually by people, so like it's time to start receiving them by machine itself. So Okay, let's see what it will do. Okay, generate comment to this post. But it didn't post the link. The prompt with the link to Austin post. Um, the prompt does not include the link to the post. Go back to LinkedIn and copy it. Okay, um, I'm wondering if this operator learns on these mistakes and if it will be able to to proceed with this task without me having to instruct it again. Because this is where I see a lot of the, mm, a lot of the problems. So if I, if I will need to instruct it every time on how to do it, that will take a lot of time. As you can see again here, it just hidden the post, so it's screwed up again. It wasn't able to do it. Um, the prompt with the link, okay, no, it's, it's, it's just a lie. Um, <coughs> let's think on how to do it. Maybe we can stop without using custom GPT at all. Like, I really like the concept, but it sounds like it doesn't work. Um, let's uh, just comment on LinkedIn based on your best uh, best guidance. Um, without using custom GPT, because it sounds like it's a bit too much for it at this point. It uh, misclicks the three dots and X all the time. Um, again, again, like like your aunt with a big finger, you know. So let's just simplify it. And uh, great host inside. I need to care to the resume is crucial. Uh, I'm fine with that. Go for it. Yes. Yes. Continue. Maybe we need to instruct it to the to like it as well. Um, for each post you comment on, make sure to like it too. Why did you open the, the profile? Navigate back to it. Okay, yeah, it, it, it misclicked. It's insane that it understands that it misclicks. This is crazy. Th something like that would stop any other any other operator there, any other agent there is. Uh, like, in, in the perfect world, they, they, they shouldn't misclick in the first place, but like, it is what it is. Uh, okay, that refined and addressing task management behavior is crucial for creating the health work environment. It prompts trust, collaboration, and ultimately. It's fine. Like, I mean, it's. It, let's not lie to ourselves. Majority of the comments you receive on your on your post right now are AI. Because it just. Uh, like, hopefully they're optimized for the voice and the tone and other things. But this is just something uh, like a, a numbers game for majority of people. That's why, again, something like that could really work. Um. I didn't see it, it, it like in the, the post though, but I love it so far. This is just insane that it does that. I can just put it on and again, I'm wondering if it will be able to generate any, oh, okay, here we go. We are liking it now, nice. Uh, I'm wondering if it will be able to generate any meaningful results, like why not, I guess. Um, the practice searches are incredibly useful for breaking free from overthinking. Insane, yes please, any time of the day you can do. But as of right now, it's fully functional sync that definitely costs 200 bucks. If you will generate 400 
comments, let's say, it's 50 bucks per comment per month. And you can generate probably 400 comments within a, an hour, I think, with this thing. If I was the one to use it right now, what I would do, I would put it on a separate screen. So I have two screens set up right now. I will put it on another screen and just monitor and from time to time tell yes, 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 reply. And uh, navigate with that. The other thing I, I saw that custom, uh, sorry, not custom GPT, but uh, operator can do is it can have multiple actions working simultaneously right now. So you can do Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever you have, go ahead and comment on everything. Um, really exciting thing. The AI having access to your accounts is a bit scary. I want to see the first YouTube video of the guy that will connect this thing to his bank account. That should be a lot of fun. Uh, but I think this is probably probably the future, and hopefully, um, hopefully we will figure out better, more humane way to use it. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, let me know how you would use this operator in the comments below. Thank you so much. Bye.